Good morning. I'm Gabe, the Oscope Wizard. Welcome to the Oscope Wizard Show, where we spend some time, about half an hour, nerding out together and looking at electronics and various assorted other nerdy little topics and hobbies, which I honestly love and hopefully you enjoy as well because you're here with me. It is a little rainy on this Tuesday, unfortunately. Um, rain does cool it off from a very warm 95 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but, you know, it kind of sticks you inside when you're already stuck inside. That's a bit of a drag. It's a little misty though, so the Oscope Wizard family, minus myself, is out. They are far afield right now, searching the woods for blackberries. It is blackberry time! If you don't have blackberries where you live, they are a wonderful treat that can be found in the woods. They grow on kind of brambles, blackberry brambles, um, and they're great. I mean, seriously, they, we've had them a number of different places uh, down here in the southeast, blackberries. Up in the Pacific Northwest, they have salmon berries, which are awesome as well. Kind of like, uh, I guess, blackberries that are red but not raspberries. We also have raspberries. It's not quite time for raspberries. Um, all that aside, we are excited to be out in the woods. I, I know when I say that, it makes me sound like I live in the witch's hut of Hansel and Gretel, but I actually live in just a regular neighborhood. Uh, there are woods around. Uh, blackberries don't need a lot of space, but they do take up all the space that they can get. So if you get them in your yard, actually, seriously, be careful because they will take it over real quick. Plus side, Blackberries, minus side, lots of thorns. So the minuses may outweigh the pluses uh, when it comes to your yard. Today, today, we are going to continue our quest. We're going to continue our quest to build a DIY Sono style amplifier. We are going over the different operating systems that could be on the Raspberry Pi system that we're using. We are using a Raspberry Pi Zero and a amplifier board that I purchased off of eBay. We have a power supply, we have a digital to analog converter chip. And now to bring all of that together, we have to pick an operating system, the actual software that will be the brains of the operation. And we had three goals from this software. We wanted it to have airplay support Spotify, and support Bluetooth speaker. So it had to do three things. AirPlay, Spotify, Bluetooth. We have tried two operating systems so far. We've tried Volumio, which had trouble with AirPlay right out of the gate. Um, ultimately, I realized that could have been due to a Wi-Fi problem at the Techno Lair, which I have since solved. But... The real nail in the coffin for Volumio was a $35 a year tax to use the Bluetooth feature in the operating system. And $35 a year to use Bluetooth, that's a pretty steep tax. I mean, if you had to pay a $35 a year tax on your phone for Bluetooth, Bluetooth would not be that popular and we would all still have headphone jacks. Um, next, we tried Mood Audio, M-O-O-D-E, Mood Audio. That actually, surprisingly, it fit all the bills. It is completely free. You can download it from Mood Audio. And it supported AirPlay, it supported Spotify integration, and it supported Bluetooth speaker integration, which, I mean, that fit all the bills. So, we are here at the final stage of our operating system showdown to check out Max to Play. That is the third operating system that we are going to be looking at today. Max to Play is another operating system that you can download and try out for free, and we are going to do just that right now. So I've already shown in a past episode, I showed how you could load up a Raspberry Pi operating system onto a SD card. And once you have the operating system on the SD card, the setup is pretty much plug the SD card into the Raspberry Pi, Let's see, here's an SD card. Plug the SD card. Well, that's the big SD card. We're talking about a micro SD card. Let's go down here. 
micro SD card. I suppose I should probably turn a light on so we can see what's happening. There we go. So there's my Raspberry, my Frankenpie setup that I'm using for this um, demonstration because it has an app, it has an amplifier already on top of it, uh, and I don't have to build my amplifier just yet because I'm still picking the operating system. So here's my micro SD card. This is max to play. It's already been loaded up. I used Etcher to load it up. And now I am going to plug in the micro SD card. I'm going to pull out Mood Audio, which we reviewed last time. Plug in Max to Play. Turn my timer on. I almost forgot to turn on my timer. Start the timer. Start the timeroscope, wizard. Get your head in the game. I know it's only Tuesday. And we have two more days to Baby Friday. Everybody's favorite day, Baby Friday. Um, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, so we still need to keep our heads in the game. Timer's on. SD card is inserted. Power right here. Let's switch over from my setup to the HDMI input from the Raspberry Pi. So she, we should be able to see the boot sequence when this begins. So if once I plug it in, we should, oh, there we go. Boot sequence engaged. We'll see what the boot sequence for Mac Play looks like. I haven't looked at the boot sequence. One of the cool things about all three operating systems is they don't require a mouse and keyboard directly attached to the Raspberry Pi. They pretty much all are administered through a web page, just like a router. Um, you type in the IP address of the router and you administrate it. You type in the IP address of the operating system, the Raspberry Pi, and you administrate the operating system, Volumio, Mood, and Max to Play. Um, the first boot of any Raspberry Pi setup is going to be a little bit slower, and this is booting up on a Raspberry Pi 3. So I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3 to do this, which is actually a little bit faster than the Raspberry Pi 0. It has a little bit more giddy up. So the Raspberry Pi 0 is going to be slower to boot up. But once it boots up, you're golden. You don't have to reboot this thing very often. So I have not even worried about boot speed. All the operating systems boot at about the same speed. They're limited by the hardware and not the software because they all pretty much use Raspbian as their back end, which is the Raspberry Pi operating system. Oh! Well, right out of the gate, look at this. Max to Play has a full desktop, which is a little bit different. So, Volumio didn't have a full desktop. It just booted you into a uh, command prompt and Mood didn't even have any kind of special graphics. Volumio had special graphics while it booted. Mood did not. It dropped you into a command prompt. But Max to Play has a full desktop environment, which is kind of cool. Um, so it's booted up. Now let's see if we can find Max to Play on our network. We're supposed to be able to type in HTTP slash slash Max to Play. Let's see if it finds it. It takes me to maxdeplay.com. That's not where I want to go. I don't want to go to maxdeplay.com. If I do HTTP colon slash slash max to play slash maxdeplay.com. I don't want to go to maxdeplay.com. Max2Play.com is where I downloaded the operating system, but it is not where I want to go. Hmm. I'll tell you what. It's not liking this. If I open up another browser, let's open up another browser. So I have uh, Chrome right here instead of Safari. If I go to HTTP colon slash slash Max2Play, Will it go to Max to Play? Max to Play can't be found. I mean, I see that it is booted up, but it cannot be found. This, a good demo does not make. 
I do have the technology to find the IP address of this little guy on my interwebs, I think. And I have a little app here that shows all the devices on my interwebs. Let's see if we can find Max to play. Okay, it says I have 18 devices online. Now, is any of them called Max to play? None of them is called Max to play. One of them is called Mood. Hmm. I wonder if that is the one. It is not online, though, which is fine because it's not supposed to be online. Max to play, on the other hand, is supposed to be online. Let me make sure that Max to play is connected to the network. That would be silly. If it is not connected to the network, that would be the killer. Um, it is connected to the network. It is connected to the network. So, hmm. Interesting. I wonder why it's not popping up. This is uh, not a great, not a great look for you, Max, to play. Not a great look for you. Why are you not popping up? Let's see. I have another another method for checking my network. I believe. See if we can find this thing. Okay. I'm going to see if I can scan my network to find it. Max to play. Where is Max to play? Or, or. Raspberry Pi. Okay. Okay. It's, I have the address of the Raspberry Pi. Now, let's, let's see if I can go back to Max to play real quick to see if it's going to respect the name. No. But the IP address is allegedly 192, 168.86.26. There we go. Max to play. Get the most out of your audio card with the specialized setup page. Just click on the manufacturer to below to install the plugin. I am today using the Hi-Fi Berry. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got my um, all right, there we go. Goodness gracious. The old uh, multimeter over there is clicking and clacking around. Max to play update available. Okay. I mean, I just downloaded this. There's already availability. It, a license is not activated, so not all functions are available. So there is a license. Um, let's see. I want a simple AirPlay device that plays music streamed from iPhone, iPhone or iPad. Um, I don't really care about multi speaker. Let's just do the most uh, most incredible one. So we'll select that set up. Select the Hi-Fi Berry. Oh my! Did I hit the wrong button? Okay, it was the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus. Yep. So we'll save. Um, settings for digital volume. Analog boost. Do I need to set all these? These are a lot of settings here just to... So if I do 100. Settings for analog boost. Optimum off. I don't know. Settings for analog boost. For analog playback boost, optimum off. Settings for analog boost, optimum 100%. All right, I guess I'll do 100%. 
don't know. Okay. Oh my. There is a lot happening here in the Max to Play setup. Um, do, uh, it has a lot happening on the website. A lot happening on the webpage. It's a little bit confusing. I mean, this looks like... It looks like max play.com but it is actually hosted on the Raspberry Pi itself. Um, oh man! My mom and my nephew are on. Hey guys, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, we're we're doing some really nerdy stuff, trying to make uh, a um a high five berry. Well, actually, we're trying to make a Sono style DIY 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 DIY. I'm DIY. Detective Inspector. Actually, it would be I'm DIY. The Detective Inspector. Why? I'm here investigating a murder. I must say, one of the things that my wife and I watch quite a bit of are murder mystery shows. And it seems like a lot of them are in Oxford on the college campuses of uh, Cambridge in England. And I'll tell you what, if the murder mystery shows are to be believed, that place in England is the murder capital of the world. There is not a day that goes by that someone is not off. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly how reliable that is, uh, but it is a little bit terrifying. So uh, back to, back, back to um, setup. So I think I need to reboot. Do I need to update? So it says an update is available. Let's update Max to play. Does anything happen if I hit that button? I do not know. I do not know. If I hit reboot, does anything happen? Reboot. Uh, let's see. Update successful. Max to play web interface restarting. This takes up to 15 seconds. Wait for 15 seconds and reload pages. Um, okay. We're really, we're kind of struggling here with our Max to play setup. The other guys didn't require quite so much setup. It could be that this is the same amount of setup, but the page is kind of intimidating for me. Um, so it's not, it's not beautiful. It's not beautiful. We're, re, we're re loading the web page. Um, update all these things. Update, 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 update all these. Spotify Connect update. Uh, Max to play is up to date. Okay, well, it looks like everything's up to date. Um, now, if I go to my iPhone here and I try to play a song, so I have a song loaded up on my iPhone. You can see right there, my iPhone is like, let's see if I, there we go, there we go. If I load up my iPhone, load up the song, choose a Bluetooth, or sorry, choose the AirPlay, Max to Play, it's not listed. Max to Play is not listed. Um, hmm. What do you think? What do you think? We probably have some more setup to do. If I go back to settings. Active plugins. This is just so much. Um, hmm. Hi Fi Berry. Um, audio, maybe audio player. Maybe I should have started an audio player. Shareport is not running, so I want to start AirPlay. Let's auto start AirPlay. Awesome. Why would it not auto start AirPlay? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't care about the DLNA client. You set audio output on Raspberry Pi. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have AirPlay running. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. AirPlay, look. Now Max to Play is listed. Max to Play. If I select Max to Play, can I play? And will we hear it? I hit, whoop. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we go. There we go. Hit the wrong button on my camera. That's, um, that's coming from my phone. That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to come from my Raspberry Pi. Hmm. Hmm. And Max to Play still wants some money. Max to Play still wants some money to make this all work. Let's go ahead and so I started AirPlay. I'm going to go over to Bluetooth. Oh, no valid Max to Play for additional plugins. Okay, so it wants me to pay for Bluetooth as well. Um, if I remember this properly, you have to pay $10 for Max to Play, which is not bad because it is just $10 uh, one time, not a $35 a year fee. It's $10 one time. But on Mood Audio, I didn't have to pay anything, and everything worked. Uh, and so far, I have gotten sound to work. So Max to Play is back on my phone, listed as an AirPlay option. I'm going to select it. It is selected on the phone. Let's hit play again. Unable to connect to Max to Play. This is what it says. Unable to connect to Max to Play. Huh. Well, well. I don't know, guys. Are there any suggestions from the uh, the audience? Anybody? Any help? What do you say, Mom? What do you? Th what should I do? I can't get Max to play to work. Uh, I don't know. Let's try. Let's try. Well, my mom would probably suggest doing a preset because that's what I'm always saying. When you're using test equipment, the first thing you need to do is preset the test equipment. With that in mind, with that in mind, what I should probably do is disconnect the power from my Raspberry Pi, reconnect the power to my Raspberry Pi, and allow it to preset. So let's go back over, disconnect the power, reconnect the power, make sure it turns on okay. Uh oh, there we go. Okay. We have the Raspberry Pi rebooting, and we set AirPlay to auto start. We also have the squeeze box. I guess one thing that we could do is reload Max to Play and so instead of selecting the more extravagant setup that they had, select the less extravagant multi speaker setup and just do simply AirPlay. Okay, it's booted up. If I turn back on my Webcam, you can see that it is indeed turned on, although the screen is not used uh, right now because I didn't load that driver. I have my phone right here with Max to Play listed as one of the options. If I select it, it does enable it uh, allegedly, and then if I hit Play, Unable to connect to Max to play. Hmm. 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 Okay. Let's try. One last thing. Let's go over to the Wi Fi LAN setup and see if I put it on the Wi Fi LAN instead of the Ethernet. If will and in fact in fact work a little bit better so I'm going to select my Wi-Fi and then I'm going to link this out for a second while I type in my password because you know what max to play doesn't do it doesn't encrypt passwords it just seems to save them which is really weird guys Get your act together, Max. To 
display. If I save it, will it connect? Okay. Okay. It says wireless LAN activated. Please reboot device. Uh, we are connected on Wi-Fi. We have a new IP address because we had 192.168.86.26 per Ethernet. Now we have 192.168.86.39 for wireless LAN. Will that help us? Will that solve the problem, Max, to play? Let's go back. Disconnect. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. Five minutes left on our review of Max to Play, which is probably five minutes too long for Max to Play, honestly. It is Min to Play. It is not meant to play. Not meant to play. That's what Max to Play is. Um, I'm going to plug it back in. Get the power connector all squared away. Let it load up. And let's see if we can actually get sound. I mean, we have not, we, we got sound out of the Volumio. It was choppy. It wasn't great. We got sound out of Mood Audio right away. Max to Play, we haven't even gotten sound out of. Guys, guys. I mean, I'm the Oscope wizard here. This is supposed to be easy. I'm going to have some coffee while I wait for this thing to boot up. It's crazy. It's crazy. I just heard the Conquering Horde return to the Techno Lair. I wonder if they actually found blackberries. That would be awesome. That would make a Tuesday much better. Tuesday afternoon would be great. Um, okay, it's booted back up. Let's go back over and see if I can connect to it. So, I've allowed it to boot back up. The web page is not loading. That does not bode well for Max to play. Let's see if it is one of my options. There it is. Max to play. Listed on my phone. Select it. Hit play. Oh, you see it went right away. It's not there anymore. Select. Oh, Max to play is gone completely from my list of options. Oh, my. Oh, my. Well, I guess in closing, what I would say is, if you are planning on making yourself a DIY Sonos-style audio amplifier like the Oscope Wizard here, I would recommend downloading Mood Audio as your operating system. It supported AirPlay, it supported Spotify integration, it supported Bluetooth audio integration, out of the box. All I had to do was make sure that I selected the proper audio amplifier, which in my case was the Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus, after a little bit of experimentation. But once, once I figured that out, once we figured that out on our journey, we got sound. Max to play. Did not ever give us sound. Wanted $10 to turn Bluetooth on and when you type in the Wi-Fi password, it just blasts it out to the world. So, no, I don't think that Max to Play is a good option for your setup. I'm, I wonder, this squeeze box integration that they tout is from Logitech. They used to make a thing called a squeeze box. And it allows you to link up multiple speakers, much like the Sonos amplifier system. I mean, Sonos, one of its big things is it will link up speakers and adjust the latency so all the sound hits your ear holes perfectly and it sounds in sync. That is what the squeeze box technology did. I think that that can actually be added to mood audio and I suppose if I was to do a little bit experiment we could um, get a second Raspberry Pi, 
hook it up to some speakers and see if we could get two sets of speakers going in sync. Um, but that's where we're at. Don't get Max to play. Don't get Volumio. Get Mood Audio, and your life will sound so much sweeter. I'm the Oscope Wizard. I don't know all the nerds in the world, but I would love to meet them. So please share this with the nerd in your life. And um, I'm going to hang out in the chat for a little while. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Baby Friday. Thanks so much for joining today. I really appreciate it. It was a good day. We got to, you know, check out a nerdy operating system, which, I, I mean, honestly, my whole life I've loved, lo I've loved operating systems. I've loved operating systems. I remember a long time ago in college, I tried an operating system called BOS. I've tried all kinds of flavors of Linux and... Um, real-time operating systems, all kinds of Windows flavors. I just love operating systems. I love checking them out and seeing what they look like. If you guys want to see more operating systems reviewed, drop it in the comments below. I'll be happy to take a look at it and see what it looks like. If you want to tr have a suggestion for another Raspberry Pi operating system that might be a viable solution for a DIY Sonos-style amplifier, please drop that in the comments below so that I can check it out. I would love to check it out. I will see you guys on Baby Friday. Take it easy. Bye.